Calling all earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Welcome to your April monthly collective tarot reading. I'm Tiffany. This is Wasted Traditions Tarot. Let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Earth signs. All right. I'll be using several oracle decks and a few tarot decks to get understanding and clarification. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Okay, earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have frog spirit, clear out the clutter. Then we have go with the flow, letting go, cleansing, receiving. And lastly, we have lost compass, getting back to integrity. One thing to be mindful of for April, on April 8th, uh, there is a solar eclipse. And what's great for the solar eclipse is a time to release people, places, or things that are holding you back from growing and evolving earth signs, okay? Let's see. I'm going to pull tarot. And then I'll pull these out, but I'm not going to turn them yet, okay? Let's get some space here, people. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What does spirit need you to know? So, frog spirit, clear out the clutter. Absolutely a great time this month, this April, because of the solar eclipse. Release people, places, or things that are holding you back from growing and evolving. Clear out the clutter, earth signs. Okay, when you're able to do that with this solar eclipse and all month long, clearing out that clutter allows you to transform your life. It you put an ending to something that no longer serves you and it starts a renewal to bring in more of the good things, more of the positive things, more abundance, right? So you can transform your life by clearing out the clutter, by releasing things that don't serve you anymore, earth signs, okay? And then we have the magician, page of swords, and the emperor. This is beautiful for you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, right? Let me see. Um, so with the magician, this is a sign for you to be able to do what it is and create the life you want. This is a doing. The magician is a doing. It's a, The magician is active and takes action. You have infinite resources at your disposal, earth signs, right? This is a this is pointing to your individuality and your independence. Your it's a new beginning by clearing out the clutter. You have a new beginning with the magician, and you are able to create the desires of your heart, create your own destiny. Is what I'm saying when you clear out that clutter. And then the page of swords. You're learning a new way to live. You are learning how to live at a higher vibration, right? And not in the low vibrations that have you feeling all over the place, right? You may even gain curiosity about things you've never that were never on your radar, is what I'm also feeling with this page of swords. And then the emperor comes in, and it's just amazing. The emperor is here. This is showing up. When you're able to clear the clutter, you are able to have authority and autonomy over your life, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, right? You create a better structure for your, your life. You, you know exactly what it is you want and you go after it because you've cleared out the things that no longer serve you to make room for what can serve you and serve you well with this emperor showing up. So I want to clarify. We have justice and the page of pentacles. As well as the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so the Justice card is showing up to clarify the Magician. This is very interesting. With the Justice card, there is cause and effect. Cause and effect. So if you clear out the clutter, clear out what no longer serves you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, 
all of my earth signs, if you clear all of that foolishness out of your life, the cause and effect, you will have a greater effect on your life. The cause is you clearing out the clutter, clearing out the nonsense. The effect is your life will return to harmony and balance, right? Your life will be illuminated. You are inspired to live a better life with the justice card. A lot of major energy here for you, uh, earth signs. It's amazing. Uh, you've got Libra, <laughs> Libra in your reading, which is an air sign, of course, right? What I'm also getting with this justice card, of course, and then there's Aries here, uh, fire sign. You, it's everybody's here. I'm sure when we turn all this over, every sign is going to be in this reading. I'm sure, right? So with the page of pentacles clarifying the page of swords, that new way of thinking, that curiosity. I feel like for you earth signs that this also opens the door for a new opportunity for financial abundance, right? You have an opportunity to learn a new skill that could bring you uh, another stream of income because now you have the space and time to actually learn something new. You're not living a chaotic life with things that no longer serve you, okay? And then we have the Knight of Pentacles clarifying the Emperor. And with the Knight, we know the Knight is strong and steady and determined. And that is, the Knight is just the beginning of that Emperor energy for you Earth signs, right? The hard work that you put in, the efficiency of creating structure for your life absolutely will bring you closer toward your emperor energy being the authority over your own life. Okay, next we have go with the flow, letting go, cleansing, receiving again with the clearing out, with the cleansing, receiving, pointing back to this solar eclipse this month, early April. Let go of what doesn't serve you. Cleanse what no longer fulfills you. Receive all the goodness that you deserve, right? This is a time to analyze what is working in your life and what is not. What are the positive impacts of your life and what are the negative impacts of your life? And the negative things have to go. This is a time, this is going to be a highly spiritual time for you, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And yet with that heightened spirituality, that heightened uh, intuition, it gives you the exact recipe for who can stay and who, who has to go, right? So with this go with the flow, we have the Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups, and the Two of Cups. Okay, a lot of emotional energy coming up for you, Earth Signs. With the Knight of Cups, we know that... This points to actually chasing after, going after the desires of your heart, going after the things, people, and places that bring you joy, that bring you pleasure, right? And in order to do that, you have to make room, you have to let go, you have to clear out the clutter so that you can receive the contentment, utter ultimate contentment and joy of your life. You have to make space. You might be wondering, why is it so difficult for me to receive the things that I desire, earth signs? Because you haven't made space in your life to receive all that you desire, to, to receive what brings you pleasure. And then the two of cups is here as well. You want that harmony, you want that balance in your life and you are able to get it once you do your spring cleaning, if you will, right? Two of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. The Two of Swords is clarifying the Knight of Cups for you, Earth Signs. This is... Allowing me to feel that you have closed off going after the desires of your heart. You have 
decided because things just don't work out for me or I have the worst of luck that you will just settle and not go after your heart's desires and I'm feeling that is a part of your blockage, your what you believe you cannot achieve. And that is blocking you from the desires of your heart. But with the Ace of Wands showing up, you absolutely can have the life that you desire. Clarifying this Ten of Cups, we have the Ace of Wands. And this, get inspired. Get inspired to go after your heart's desires, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you can create the life of your dreams. Increase your willpower. Increase your own personal power in order to get the life that you desire, to get to ultimate contentment, joy, and happiness. And then we have the Nine of Wands clarifying the Two of Cups, right? You are, it's been a long time coming. Right, I want you to understand what the Nine of Wands is telling you is to stand your ground, take the last stand, do not be moved, do not be shaken. You are resilient, you are able to do this, you are able to come into harmony and balance, you are able to partner with the universe during this solar eclipse once you realize what can stay and what has to go. Okay, you have what it takes, you're not a softy. You know, you have, you live a balanced life, but get your emotions in balance with your thinking. One should not outweigh the other, creating a chaotic lifestyle, creating limiting beliefs. Okay, Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And we're going to move on to Lost Compass, getting back to integrity, right? You want to step back into your personal power. And that... Ace of Wands is also pointing to that, your personal power, your independence, right? Your individuality. You feel a little bit lost because you feel like you have the worst of luck and things aren't working out. But Spirit is here to remind you, you must let go of some things in order to receive the good that you desire for your heart, right? You, there is abundance and success coming towards you. But you have to get back to integrity. And getting back to integrity, it starts with a change in what you believe about yourself. That you have to believe you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. You have to believe that you can be the master of your own life. So that is a part of getting back to integrity. We have the Seven of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Hanged Man. With this Seven of Swords... What I'm feeling with this is you feel like you've let yourself down. You may even feel like you've let others down, earth signs, right? Um, and <clears throat> you may even feel like you've cheated yourself out of the best that life has to offer. And that could be true for some of you, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, because your belief system is off kilter. Your, your compass is not working properly, right? And then this five of pentacles is here. You, you feel you're focusing too much on what went wrong. You're focusing too much on what went wrong and you need to focus more on what has gone right and doing more of that, staying in that vibration of the good, the joyful, the contentment, the happiness. You create your own happiness. It doesn't matter what someone else has done to you. You can get through that because, again, you are resilient. So don't focus on the, the loss in your life or where you think you're supposed to be at this age and stage of your life. You are exactly where you need to be, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You are exactly where you need to be. There is no mistake in the timeline of your life. And there are detours and curves and dips and mountains and valleys. And you are exactly where you need to be. And here's the hangman. Get a new perspective on the way you think about yourself. Change your limiting beliefs. Eliminate them. You have to let go, release, and clear out the clutter of limiting beliefs for all my earth signs. 
change the perspective on how you think about yourself and how you think about others. If you think more positively about yourself, you are able to think more positively about others. You must also have patience in this process. It will not pass you by, but patience is required of you. And the hangman comes to show that. Lastly, we have the Four of Wands. Beautiful. Queen of Swords. Excellent. And the Knight of Cups yet again. So the Queen, uh, the Four of Wands is clarifying the Seven of Swords. Once you realize that what happened to you didn't happen to you. It happened for you. Any betrayals, any letdowns, any deceit, it happened for your benefit. And when you realize and you understand that there is power in that, you will come back into your power because you're changing the way you believe things have gone in your life. You understand that they happened for you and not to you. And you can use all of those lessons to elevate yourself to a place of winning, to a place of celebration, to a place of abundance and success, even, even bringing in a love you've never known, right? Then we have the Queen of Swords. I really, really thoroughly enjoy and love to see the Queen of Swords coming up because to clarify this Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords shows up at this point in the reading. She has clarity and focus. She can even perceive what is coming toward her because she lives above the fray, because she doesn't focus on the negative. The Queen of Swords is here to tell you when you shift your mindset and you don't focus on the negative or the loss, you will be able to see clearly where you are headed and formulate that plan and execute it the way only you can, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then we have the Knight of Cups clarifying the Hanged Man. Interesting to get the Knight of Cups twice because back here, you are not going after your heart's desires. But then here, after this shift in mindset, the Knight of Cups is showing up for you. You will absolutely understand that you are deserving and worthy of going after and attracting the things that bring you pleasure, the love that you desire and deserve that you are worth having. Because you have patience in the process. Okay, Earth Signs? Patience in the process. But what is happening, what I see here for you, it's all for your good. Use this time, the month of April, especially surrounding the day before the day of and the day after the solar eclipse, which is to take place on April 7th or 8th, depending on where you are in the world. Use that time. To release people, places, or things that are holding you back from growing and evolving. You've got your sign here. Clearing out the clutter. Letting go. Cleansing. Receiving. Getting back to integrity. This is all for your good. This is your time. Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If you are here at this point in the reading, this was absolutely for you. This is not a mistake. It's not a happenstance. It's divine connection. Have patience with the process, but put one foot in front of the other every single day. You are able to do this. You are resilient. You have the grit, right? Take a stand. Change your life. You can do this.